Half a day. My name is Andrew Guerrero. I am an instructional coach under the Curriculum and Instruction Division. We are going to learn about two features in our Zoom account. The two features are how to use whiteboard and how to use annotation within a Zoom account. We are primarily going to focus on annotations since both whiteboard and annotations have the same tools. Let's begin. At the bottom, if we go under share screen, we have desktop one highlighted. We have whiteboard as one of the features. When I click on it, it is highlighted. What we're going to focus on is annotations. I click on it. You can tell it's highlighted because it's blue around. And then we click on share. Notice that at the top, you have the word annotate on the top right hand corner. If I click on it, your toolbars will show. We are going to focus on the first item, the mouse. Notice it's not highlighted. If I hover my mouse over it or my cursor, it is highlighted in blue. This allows me to utilize the computer as a regular function. I am able to close, open documents, and many other features that your computer, that you want your computer to do. The next tool is the select toolbox. I click on it, notice that it is highlighted, and I'm able to move this toolbox wherever I want it. I am just going to put the toolbar over here. The next box is the text box. Notice that it is highlighted. If I click on my screen, I can see that the cursor is blinking. I can type in the directions, such as write your name. Within this box, I am able to narrow it down or widen the box. For now, I'm just going to keep it at this length. If I want my student to write their full name, I can still delete it and type them, type their name, Andrew Guerrero. Notice that it is in blue. If I click on font, on format, I can change the color to whatever color I would like. So if I want it red, my format is red and I am able to change it to any color that I would like. Format, blue. That's the text toolbox. The next box, which is very important, is the draw toolbox. Within that, I have multiple tools underneath. I have a curved type of line, which allows me to annotate on the screen. For instance, I would like to have my student write the word hat. I click and I drag my mouse to how I would like to write on my screen. Just as if you had a paper and a pencil in front of you. 
Now, notice that when I click on draw, I can change the types of items I would like to draw. If I want to draw a solid line, I click where I would want to start, where I would like to end, and I can do it for the other side. As you play with all the tools here, you'll start to understand what all the other functions are. I can do the same for an arrow. If I want to draw an arrow from one area to another, or I could do it to the other side, do the exact same thing. The next tool is our stamp. For instance, let's choose something that the child did correct. I would use stamp. I'll click on check mark. And I'll probably put a check mark here. Now, if the child did something incorrect, I'll go to stamp, draw on, click on X, and click on the item that I felt the child made a mistake on. Now, if you felt the child did really well in their penmanship, then I'll probably use the heart button and I would click anywhere on the screen where I want the heart to be placed. That is the stamp feature. The next feature is our spotlight. There are three tools that I can utilize, but the newest stamp that we have, or the newest spotlight that we have, is the vanishing pen. With this vanishing pen, be very careful because after a couple of seconds, it will disappear. So for instance, the child made a mistake and you want to kind of point them in the right direction, I would choose vanishing pen and I draw a circle to show them that that's the error and when I release I have two seconds and it will disappear. Watch again. I'll try it over here. I want the child to fix up or start on number five. Watch. I let it go and it'll disappear. Watch again. I want the child to start here. it will disappear. So that's a pretty cool feature within annotation. The next tool that I have is the eraser. If I want to erase something, I can either click on eraser and click on the item that I would like to erase within my worksheet. Now, if you made a mistake and you didn't want to erase it, I can choose the feature to the right, which is the undo. Click on it and it will display the last item you had erased. I click it again and the other item that was previously erased will reappear. Likewise, redo would be to go back from what you just last did. So if I erased it, or I made it appear, it will reappear when you press the redo button. The last feature that I would like to show is the trash can or the clear button. There are three items within the clear 
toolbox. You have clear all drawings, clear my drawings, or clear the viewer's drawings. The viewer's drawings is if a student were to annotate virtually, you can clear any of their drawings if you click on this. If I want to clear my drawings, I would click here and it will erase everything that I have written on the sheet of paper. The last tool is the save. This button, you can save what you created as a PDF file or as a video using PNG. That is all the buttons or tools within annotations. Now remember, these tools are exactly what's in the whiteboard. Let me X this out. Now, where is whiteboard? If I move my cursor up to the top, notice that there is a green icon here that says new share. You click on it and you can click on whiteboard. It won't open up until you go to the bottom right and press share. Now this is your whiteboard and it has the same exact tools. I hope you have learned a couple of cool tricks within your Zoom account. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact any of your instructional coaches or myself at any time. We are here for you. Have fun and have a great school year using your Zoom account. Bye.